Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny, and this is Coffee Break with Danny. Today we're going to discuss all things naked. No, not like that. Get your mind out of the gutter, sister. All right, so Urban Decay launched another naked palette. Do we really need another naked palette? All right, if you want the summary version, yes, you do need this naked palette. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about the Urban Decay Wild West Naked Palette. Or is it Urban Decay Naked Wild West Palette? I would say for over a decade we have been doing this whole naked story. Do you remember when it was just a trilogy? It's gone complex. It's gotten cherry, it's gone honey, it's gone it's gotten gone ultraviolet. We have run the gamut when it comes to the naked family. And I do have to say, I'm a little naked exhausted. However, this is definitely a naked palette that gets my absolute seal of approval. Stamp of approval? You know what I'm trying to say. All right, you guys, let's break it down. Recently, Urban Decay added yet another Naked palette to their Naked family. However, this has been promoted as a, and I quote, super limited amount of time. Get it now or regret it forever. That's literally what it, what it says on their Instagram post. This is a palette that is available globally. Depending on where you are is when you will be able to have access to it. Now it is going to be available at all retailers that offer the brand Urban Decay. Now here's the thing. Urban Decay continuously adds to the Naked family, but very so rarely does one really, 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 really make an impact. And I think the only reason is because of the theme or the purpose of Naked. So the theme of Naked, if I understand correctly, was derived to create sort of a cohesive palette, something that had a theme but was also friendly to all skin types, skin tones, gender, age, no matter what preference you have over eyeshadow textures, it was supposed to create sort of like a safe zone to land whether you wanted warm colors like the Naked Heat palette or you wanted mauve tones like the Naked 3 palette and I don't know, you were someone that's always struggled finding the right tone of eyeshadow that was like a place for you to fall. The Reloaded palette is one that's supposed to be neutral all around and cover all bases and supposed to be friendly for everyone, every skin tone, skin type, etc, etc. So the Naked theme is supposed to create a, a safe zone of cohesive colors, whether they're purple or nudes or smokies. Do you remember the smoky palette? I don't know what happened to that delicious palette. So another one has joined the pack and just like all the other palettes, it has 12 colors. It has a combination of metallics and mattes. There are eight mattes in here, four metallics. The awesome part about this particular palette is that it is a warm and cool palette. And it was inspired by the Wild West or sort of sand dunes, bronziness, golden shades, you know, think deserty vibes. And I think they did a very good job at nailing that. I think they also did a very good job at covering cool and uh, warm bases. So I do love that about that. I don't have a preference when it comes to cool or warm shadows. I use both because I do have neutral undertones. And even if I didn't, I'm not the type of person that would care much. And that's the kind of person y'all should be too. And so they did a very good job at having a great mixture of cool and warm tones in this palette. Now I did get a little mystified when I was doing research on this palette because when you look at the Naked franchise, there are several palettes with a little bit of a variance in terms of packaging, but there is also a variance in terms of price and ounceage or grams per palette. For example, this is a $49 palette. There are other naked palettes that go as high up as $54, and there are others that are as low as $44. So depending on the naked palette that you choose, the price could vary up to $10. Strange, right? So anywhere from $44 to $54. 
The other thing that I noticed was the smallest naked palette has 0.9 grams of product where one could go up to 1.4 grams of product. Again, weird, right? And so I thought it was very interesting to notate that. At the end of the day, do you really take out your scale and weigh out how much eyeshadow you're getting for your dollar? I think when you're shopping mid-range to high-end products, that's already something that you're not necessarily so concerned about. The one thing that I would be concerned about is the fact that it does say it's around for a very super short, ultra mega short period of time. That does concern me a little bit because for such a massive global launch, are you really gonna be around that short of a time? When I was looking at release dates, it came out here in the US on February 8th, but there are other countries that aren't getting it until like April. So are we still gonna have it when other countries get it? I would think so. That doesn't strike me as super short or limited, but maybe it is. Who knows how they're planning on releasing this uh, palette if it's staggered if it's all at the same time like why there's a delay in certain countries I would imagine it has something to do with like shipping and customs and things like that But anyway, it does come with the classic brush that all naked palettes have I do appreciate that this one is a clear acrylic one. I think it's really cool it is synthetic, and I think the most magnificent thing about this palette is that it is 100% vegan without compromising on the integrity of the shadows. They are just as smooth, they are just as pigmented, they are just as blendable. They have the same amount of fallout, just a standard good amount, nothing crazy, nothing insane. I mean, the eyeshadows aren't crumbling, so it is very cool to find out that brands can head in this direction of not using animal products in their cosmetics and do so successfully. So cheers to Wendy on that. I do really, really enjoy the combination of colors in this palette. I think it's something that is very refreshing to see in makeup at this moment. I'll show you guys how I did this look. It was super simple. I was actually inspired by the promotional uh, card that they included in this palette. So I received this palette as a sample. And when I saw the model, I was like, that's actually a really great way to test out this palette because if you look at a palette like this and you're anything like me, you're going to want to gravitate immediately towards the two metallic fun colors or the really, really, really like brooding, sexy, unique matte shades, right? And so I'm like, okay, Danny. <laughs> Reel it back in, sister, and let's get a neutral-ish look going and see how our palette works. I think when it comes to a naked palette, you're not reaching for it and you're like, yeah, I want to create a super dark, super metallic-y, teal, smoky eye. You want a palette that's going to be an asset to your makeup collection. And I think that is what is missing in the makeup world now. We have collection after collection after collection every day. Day that gets launched if you guys are Instagram users makeup exhaustion is real what we need to focus on now is taking makeup staples and doing them perfect so whether it's a concealer whether it's a primer a mascara or a neutral palette take that and do it the best possible way you can. And that's the kind of vibe I get from this palette. Is this a palette that is showing up to change the makeup world? No. Is this a palette that is showing up and you don't have the colors in your makeup collection already? No. Is this a palette that doesn't remind you of anything that could have maybe been launched just recently? So it's not a palette that you need to get makeup anxiety over if you miss out on it because it's not life-changing. However, it is a neutral, staple makeup product done right. So if you were like, you know, I missed out on the Raw Beauty Christie palette and I really want that dark, smoky, brooding, grungy, turquoise, teal shade, and I missed out on it, this is actually a really amazing formula. And I told you guys when I was talking about this palette that that color is historically one of the hardest matte shades to produce without making it chalky, patchy, or very, very, 
very dusty and both of these palettes did it right now this is not a comparison video so I'm not going to talk about other palettes that remind me of the Wild West palette however it is a palette that I wanted to mention because there are so many new makeup products on the daily that it's hard to pick and choose where you want to invest your money. Do we just stop listening or do we filter our search to something that would really help out our makeup fun and makeup investment? So these days I'm more inclined to recommend say a serum foundation or a mascara. Both of these, by the way, are life-changing. I'm more inclined to recommend those types of products than any sort of super fun, colorful, neon, fluorescent, hyper-pigmented, glittery, crazy palette. I'm more inclined to recommend staple products than color products these days. And I think it's kind of cool to get kind of like a breath of fresh air when it comes to something like a neutral palette. So if you guys are on the fence to check out the new Naked Wild West palette, it is definitely Coffee Break approved. I honestly, when I started to see the promotional campaign work on Urban Decay's Instagram, I was like, are we doing this again, Wendy? Like, are we doing this? Are we... Are we yet again expanding the Naked franchise? And I have to say, we did, and I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> you guys, I don't know if I was being pessimistic or cynical or maybe a little sarcastic about the topic, but I was like, seriously? Another Naked palette? And then it arrives and I was like, hello, lover. Don't mind if I do. It's really cool too. This is the last thing that I'm gonna mention is if you look at the palette carefully, the first three colors could be brow bone highlights depending on your skin tone. Then you have these two really, really chunky metallics. One is warm, one is cool. Then you have the deeper mattes over here, again, which would show up even on deeper skin tones. And then you have the really fun in between kind of pop of color, which is what I chose to use on my lower lash line. I have seen several tutorials using this palette and I have to say they don't all look the same and I'm very impressed. I saw one where she had this um, beautiful metallic shade called Bud all over her lid. So dramatic, super pretty. Then I saw another one where she did a cool toned metallic smoky eye and it was the sexiest thing I have ever seen in my life. And I was like, with this palette? So you're not very limited with your options with this palette, which is super cool, super refreshing. It's not thematic where all of them are rosy red cherry tones or all of them are yellow, warm, golden tones like the honey. So it's not thematic. It has a theme, but it's not within the same color family, which is really, really cool and very exciting. So if you guys were on the fence, it is a $49 palette available for super mecha, micro, miniature, tiny, very speckle of a time period. I, I have zero retention when it comes to, to quotes. <laughs> According to Urban Decay, it will be available for a very short period of time. If I can find it for you guys, I will list and link it in the description box below. I think this is one of those palettes that you can confidently buy online without having to swatch in person. But again, check out your collection. See if it's something that inspires you. If it's something that you don't have an excess of right now. Because otherwise, y'all, makeup exhaustion is real. There is a club and I am a member. So if y'all are in the same boat, please hit that like, share, subscribe, and do all the things you need to do because y'all, makeup exhaustion is real and it is a lonely place to be. Like, you wanna come talk about makeup here? You can do that. You wanna rant about makeup? You can do that here too. You wanna tell me about a new makeup product that inspired you despite having so many releases after releases after releases after. I really wanna hear that. So let me know in the comment section below. But other than that, I love you guys so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys.